Hi everyone, and welcome to Richard's Motor Sales RV Center in Reading, Michigan. I'm Steve, and today we're looking at a new arrival that landed today. A 2015 Keystone RV Sprinter, 316. Floor plan, it's a triple slide, 316 BIK. And uh, two bedroom triple slide, island kitchen with an outside oversized camp kitchen. And I'm gonna show you a few highlights. And uh, for starters, we order the Sprinter series with an outside gas grill that swings around and joins the big outside kitchen. So we've got either a two burner range or the gas grill to cook with. And uh, oversized refrigerator in this. Door height dictates fridge height in an outside kitchen. And this is a door that a six foot three inch person can stand under and uh, stay out of the weather, the rain, or the sun, which is a really great feature, your own little awning. Hot and cold water in the sink are plumbed into the holding tank on this unit. And overhead storage and power outlets and LED lights and a full extension drawer. The new Sprinter has a 22 inch ball bearing, full metal drawer guide, drawer system throughout in the kitchen. So that's a great feature. Outside shower is tucked into the door side. Primarily best used for kids sandy feet and uh, bathing suit showers, but I've had customers use them for dog wash, fish cleaning station, and even canned salmon in Manistee, Michigan with a unit like that, which is clever. The power package consists of four power stabilizers, a power front tongue jack that's lighted for on and off the truck with ease, and here's a look at that. And a power patio awning with uh, LED lighting. And it's a friction hinge fully adjustable patio awning. Push button so our wives have less worry of us being there to retract the awning in case of bad weather. Or extend the awning if we're not there as well. Outside TV ready. We've got a uniform bracket to put a television on. And cable or satellite hookup as well as uh, outlets here. Oh, I almost forgot the front pass-through in the nose houses a Sprinter picnic table. So it's a pull-out pull out picnic table. Very nice feature. We don't have to carry an extra one with us. It goes under the awning for many, many uses. But it's a resin table, so it cleans up easy. And it tucks away up in the lighted pass-through storage area. Now let's go inside. The first thing I'd like to point out is a 30 by 74 entry door and it's wider than our conventional door and since we have a heavy i-beam frame underneath this coach to support the slide outs we've got three entry steps a taller heavier frame requires height and uh, so an entry assist handle is great feature to get in and out of a trailer with for any age here's our island kitchen floor plan and um, it's a fantastic use of space if we have opposing slide outs we can put an island kitchen in a travel trailer and still have plenty of room for passage in between and really a private cooking area that's way out of the traffic area as well. The drawers and doors and pantry in this unit are really impressive. Um, I'll show you just a few of them. The pantry on the end is a three door, six shelf unit next to the refrigerator so really strategically placed for cooking and uh, I'll see if I can turn around we've got a 70-30 split acrylic sink very nice with a with a cover and um, this rubbed bronze high-rise faucet with sprayer which is really a residential feature great for camping and cleanup it makes it easier faster and funner so we have more time to spend with our family and that's kind of the whole idea in the island we have a bank of three 22 inch full extension drawers and four lower cabinet doors and um, very impressive one of them is for wastebasket so we've got a purpose-built spot normal things range and oven refrigerator with our distressed wood refrigerator inserts very pretty and very important vented window in the uh, galley slide box so we've got uh, natural light coming in as well as uh, 
another means of fresh air. So these drawers and the pot and pan drawer and so on, I don't have enough time to show you. It's very impressive. On the back side of this island, we've got a breakfast bar. So they include two bar stools and we have another place to sit uh, and, and snack or eat or you have breakfast and um, hide a bed trifold memory foam mattress and our standard booth dinette makes overflow sleeping but when you see the second bedroom in this you'll notice that we probably don't need overflow sleeping uh, very impressive 40 inch LED TV with a Sprinter soundbar attached to it so we have upgraded sound system in this unit and uh, the doors and drawers and finish in this are also very impressive in our entertainment center which can be used for so many different different uh, items. Our lighted systems monitor panel is high enough that a three-year-old can't play with the slide buttons or awning switch and uh, yet it's easily reachable by adults. Here's our, we've really got a 75 percent wall built across here. I want to show you and back up. So we don't have a mid-entry door or a dual entry in the bathroom. We've got a side private front master with a real door that shuts. And when we go in the master we've got reading lights in the nose with a storage area and outlets for a clock radio or a phone charging or whatever we'd like. And um, a 60 by 80 uh, memory 60 by 80 memory foam upgraded pillow top mattress so it's residential sized and we don't need strange short sheets or anything like that his and her shirt closets and um, light switches as well secondary spot for uh, for a television in there so I'll take you to the back kids room and it's quite a ways away this would make a good great seasonal choice for a family we have separate bedrooms at, at both ends of this coach. In the middle great room is just really impressive because we have opposing slides. Um, and I'll show you the bathroom. I didn't open it from outside, but it's got an exterior easy entry bath door. So we can come in and out of the trailer while we're out at the campsite or campfire without tracking through mother's flooring. 25 feet of mother's flooring. Porcelain foot pedal flush china toilet. Very nice in a tub shower combo with skylight above for natural light, which is cool and adds some height. And uh, nice, uh, here I'll turn on the LED lights throughout. We don't have a cheap trailer light in this coach anywhere. Even in the outside kitchen, we've got LED lights. Um, I'm going to back up, but before we go into the kids' room, there is a big wardrobe with a full extension oversized drawer here as well and courtesy lights down below so we can get to and from uh, the bathroom or back to the kids room without turning over headlights on and waking up folks this is the new teddy bear series bunk system and they're really upgraded memory foam mattresses for the kids we've traditionally had cheap quality mattresses in a travel trailer for the kids room and it's about time they were upgraded so they're a velour type material really comfortable and they don't heat up as much and much more padding than we've had before so on the awning or door side we have an overhead bunk and then we have storage nooks and then we have a lower bunk as well so there's two we have a central entertainment center for with our fourth TV hookup in this coach I know it's funny but they're there if we need them and then on the slide out off door side we have an overhead bunk that's hinged with a 300 pound very impressive weight limit and a vented escape window and below it and I'll see if I can do this with one hand we lock the bunk up and we've got a sofa that is a rollover back and it's really misleading how big this is until you fold it out I'm gonna back up and show you but it's really certainly two kids can sleep on this once it's extended into sleeping mode so we've got two, three, four, five sleeper in the back really comfortably. So that's a look at the kids' room. Overhead lights, uh, equal climate control anywhere. We've got doors that shut off. We have an upgraded 15,000 BTU air conditioner on this. Excuse me, it has a very impressive Four Seasons insulation package with astrofoil insulation. 
and um, an R30 rated floor and an R28 rated roof and R9 sidewalls just to give you an idea a regular travel trailer is R7 so this has four times the insulation for hot or cold weather benefit compared to our regular coaches so very nice very impressive and um, made for towing or made for seasonal use and two bedrooms family fun really written all over it so we encourage you to stop and take a look at our sprinter line we have several floor plans in stock both at our reading and quincy locations and uh, take a tour with dave ron steve chris or the richards family and we're we're pleased that you're able to watch the video with us we thank you for your time and uh, go rving and stay family focused god bless